This is Watertown, Wisconsin. Super small, rural, um, but really quaint and cute. In this district that helps swing Wisconsin red lives Sharice Daniels. Here you go, ready? Married mom of four, juggling children and a career, no longer content as citizen, now moving to candidate. What office do you aspire to? For me, I think mayor would be my high in the sky type dream. Did election night make you want to run for office? Absolutely, yes. I, I felt devastated. How many of you are here today because of the election? Everybody, almost everybody. Hearing from everybody else makes me think that, that you were really more on the fence. Channeling the energy of the nationwide women's marches, these women are training to run for the first time for office from fundraising. How we're getting the money and where it's coming from. To drills. My name is Sharice. I'm running for mayor of Watertown. Learning how to campaign in a red okay, state. Well, but what party are you really with? I'm a member of the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party, okay. Yeah. After election day, immediately, the application started spiking. Exponentially, great, says a political great, nonprofit emerge yeah. operating in 18 states, from deep blue California to red Wisconsin. Their class size here doubled. Democratic women hoping to flip the state back to blue. Was it personal? Deeply personal. It hurts that the American people decided that something or some combination of things were more important than us, than women. We live in a representative democracy, right? And women are more than half of the population and a quarter of elected officials. That's a problem. I never imagined that I would be a state legislator. Wisconsin State Representative Melissa Sargent, an Emerge graduate, dove into public life after Republican Governor Scott Walker's election. Now she's watching women nationally react to President Trump. Did you need that push? Um, I, I would say I did. I think that oftentimes women will second guess themselves and um, women will question whether it is they can balance running for office with being a parent. My name is Jenna Jacobson. And Jenna Jacobson the marched the day after Trump's inauguration. Was that march enough? Oh, no. Taking her next step, Jacobson's now running for local office in the town of Oregon, Wisconsin. If you're in office, will you have President Trump to thank in some part? Sure. I mean, I don't know that I would have gotten involved if he hadn't been elected. Maybe I'll write him a thank you note. Probably not. I'm really bad at those.